Okay, let's look at this pro forma financial statement analysis. XYZ is developing a pro forma income statement for the incoming year. It estimates that the sales will be $150 million. If gross profits are 36% of sales, the, expects, the expected cost of goods sold is what? Well, here's what we know. An income statement can be drafted in this way. Sales less cost of goods sold equals gross profit. And the gross profit percentage is 36%. They gave us and they gave us sales. Well, if the gross profit percentage is 36%, we know that gross profit percentage is calculated by taking sales. Well, it's calculated by taking gross profit and dividing it by sales. So what that means is we can take the 150 in sales times the 36%, and that gives us gross profit. If we divided 54 by 150, we'd get the 36%. So now calculating cost of goods sold is really straightforward. It's just the difference. So we take the 150 of sales minus the gross profit, and we can determine that cost of goods sold would be 96 million. Now you could also approach it this way. Do it as a percentage. You know that sales, if we say sales is our base at 100%, and we know that gross profit is 36%. So really, you could have just directly calculated the 96 by taking the 150 times the difference between the 100 and 36%, right? And in this case, 100 less the 36% would be 64%. And I'm sure you could have done that in your head. So if you took 150 times 64%, you'd also come up with cost of goods sold 96 million.